So how do you deal with having a chronic illness? Unfortunately, I don't have any magic fixes for you, but I'm going to talk about my essential things that are lifesavers for me. My first essential item is a hot water bottle. With a lot of chronic illnesses, pain comes along as a major factor. And for me, pain management is one of the, the major things with living with a chronic illness. So I take painkillers and I love my hot water bottle. It's currently empty because it's so hot that I couldn't even think about having a hot water bottle right now but for most of the year the hot water bottle is a godsend it really helps to reduce muscle pain bone pain any type of pain for a lot of types of pain you can improve how they feel just by having a hot water bottle on the area I strongly recommend if you have significant amounts of pain get a hot water bottle they are amazing and my second recommendation for things you need if you have a chronic illness is mobility aids now I have two walking sticks, I also rent wheelchairs when I need them. Getting yourself mobility aids that are useful, effective for you is such a game changer. Not everyone needs mobility aids, but if you think that they might be helpful to you, I would really recommend looking into getting some because they can make such a huge difference. My walking sticks are from Neo Walks, and so far I've only been renting wheelchairs, though I am hoping to buy one in the future. It can be really hard to use walking sticks or other types of mobility aid because of the confidence you need because of the fear of judgment that you might experience there's lots of things that might hold you back from getting a walking stick or using a wheelchair or another mobility aid but they are definitely definitely worth working through that fear because if it's something you need it can be so so helpful and really give you a lot more freedom which you deserve my next item is pill boxes if you have prescription medications I would would really suggest getting pill boxes they are so handy you can see at a glance if you've had today's medication it is annoying to have to fill up the whole week's worth of medication but it's so worth it because the rest of the week you don't have to worry about getting the right amount of multiple different medications you do it all at the start of the week and then every day they're there and they're ready for you speaking of temperature i personally have really bad temperature regulation my body's all over the place and it cannot keep me the right temperature it's very hot at the moment and if i wasn't filming i would have it on it's very very useful to keep my temperature down in winter I do get very cold as well and so in winter I have the space heater to help me stay warm making sure you can regulate your temperature is so useful and I would absolutely recommend if you can getting things that will help you to either stay warm or cool or both another necessity for a chronic illness is taking snacks with you everywhere you go so I have a very small handbag this is the handbag you, I use most of the time but you know what it's got cheese strings in it. I always have food, even if it's a weird place to take snacks. I quite often will take a bag of crisps as well. I'll fit them in my bag if I can. If I'm taking a bigger bag, I'll take more. Maybe a packet of biscuit, another bag of crisps. Snacks are an absolute must-have for going out of the house. And to go along with snacks, water is also super important. I try and drink two, ideally three of this size water bottle a day. I just refilled this, I'm on number two. Having a big water bottle that you carry around with you around the house or out in the world is really useful. Staying hydrated is useful for everyone, but especially if you have some kind of chronic illness, dehydration can make every condition worse. Literally every condition. These can be a bit heavy to carry around, which is annoying, but it does encourage you to drink water. You take a drink, it gets lighter. Lots of people only use their water bottle when they go out and about, but I use mine at home because I can fit more water in there than a standard glass, so I don't have to go to the tap as often. And also because it has the straw in it, I don't have to tip it, which means when I feel bad, I don't have to lift it and keep control of it with my arms, which might seem like a minor thing, but if you have any problems with lifting things, if you have any problem with arm strength or weakness, getting a bottle with a straw is like a big game changer. Another thing I think is amazing is this. This is technically a pregnancy pillow and it was given to me by a friend who didn't want it and all I can say to that is why would you not want this? Why? 
it's so comfy. I can't explain to you how comfy this is. This is so amazing for the sofa. Watching films is a game changer. If you struggle to sit on the sofa and be comfy, because after a while your bones or your muscles really start to ache, this is the answer. This is so good. I cannot believe I've never had one of these four and I can't believe they're only marketed towards pregnant women. Everyone should have one of these. I'm thinking I might actually like make a cover for it so it's cuter, so it le looks less like a medical thing, but it's amazing. Definitely pregnancy pillow, I'm all for it. In terms of entertainment, there's a couple of things that I think are really great when you're a spoonie. It can be really hard to find low energy activities that are still like engaging. Um, and you might find yourself just watching endless Netflix. And though that is great, I advise that too. I think getting yourself a jigsaw and a jigsaw board is really helpful. You can see this one is almost finished. But I think not only having jigsaws, which I think are a great form of really quite low energy activities. I think the board itself is like a really great purchase. This board allows me to move the jigsaw wherever I want, which means I can jigsaw in bed. Being able to do this type of activity, probably with a Netflix show on as well. In bed is such a great thing because it gives you something to do, it gives you something to work towards and you get that sense of achievement. So boards like this, but I also think small puzzles, like this is my Rubik's Cube. This is also great for entertainment. It's very low energy. It's not too difficult, it's pretty easy physically, and it gives you that little boost of I succeeded when you solve it. Which I think is this, the great thing about the jigsaw, is you get that I did it, which quite often is lacking when you're so unwell and you can't do things. And I think finding ways to feel proud of yourself and feel like you've achieved something is so valuable. The last thing I think is an essential thing for Spoonies is having ready prepared meals. You can either buy ready prepared meals, you can have a friend or a family member make you ready prepared meals, or you can make your own on a good day. I have things like pasta bakes, lasagnas, in the freezer, ready to go, and when I don't feel good, all I have to do is turn the oven on, put them in, and wait half an hour, and then the food is ready. No preparing, no chopping, it's like a balanced meal, it's got vegetables, it's got pasta, it's got dairy, it's got whatever else, you know, whatever's right for you. There's nothing worse than having a really bad day, feeling really awful, and knowing that what you need to do now is chop lots of things, stand it next to the pan and stir it. I hate that after a bad day. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd let us know in the comments down below what your essentials are, stay tuned for the bloopers. Bye! A lot of types of pain can be improved by mm. and my second rec seagulls what? getting it's a butterfly hello it just smashed the chicks that I'm working on <laughs>